The notion of time is paramount in physics, as in everyday life. The accuracy of its measurement is often fundamental on a practical basis, for instance, to get somewhere on time, and in our understanding of the universe. Time and space, more precisely one's location in space, are inextricably linked, as Einstein demonstrated in his theory of relativity. From their relationship are derived all other physical quantities, such as energy, mass, momentum, or force. When you want to measure motion, motion of a particle, motion of a satellite, or even an aircraft. If you have very precise information on time, that can always be translated to velocities and positions and so on. So finally, position information will be linked to precise timing. For example, you can send a pulse of light to a satellite and get it back. And then this can be translated to a position of the satellite relative to you only if you have the precise time information. With the recent launch of the Jovi B satellite, Europe is now demonstrating its mastery in broadcasting time signals of unprecedented accuracy. The time it provides, using a hydrogen maser atomic clock, has a nanosecond precision, the equivalent of losing or gaining one second in 2.7 million years. By measuring the time-lapse of such signals from broadcast by the satellites and reaching a point on Earth, the Galileo constellation will allow the positioning of objects within less than a meter, whether they be fixed or mobile. It will be the world's most accurate and reliable global navigation system. Galileo will offer a multitude of new navigation, positioning, distress alert and timing services. But many fields of human activity will benefit from its technologies, for instance, oceanography and meteorology. You can uh, monitor uh, in a very useful manner the, the surface state of the sea by observing how the Galileo signals, which will be present everywhere, are reflected by the surface of the ocean. This allows you to measure the height of waves and the speed of currents and uh, uh, a similar uh, measurement can be done in the atmosphere, but there you will not measure the, the reflection. Uh, you will measure the, the, the diffraction. This gives you uh, useful information in terms of temperature, humidity content, and uh, all these are uh, physical parameters which are very important for the meteorological models for, uh, for weather forecast. The Galileo system will also open new horizons in fundamental science. Because the infinitely small differences between clocks in orbital movement and their terrestrial references now oblige scientists to re-evaluate the nature and the influence of gravity in the universe. The modification of the rates of clocks, what we thought as due to simple motion, is actually because of the gravity of the universe. So what Einstein wrote as a modification of the rate of clocks due to motion is not because clocks simply move. It is because they are moving in the presence of all the matter in the universe. And the gravity of all the matter in the universe far exceeds the gravity of the sun, the earth, and our galaxy. In terms of the gravitational potential, the energy of interaction of gravity, it is actually a billion times larger, a billion times larger than the gravity of earth. And therefore, when you calculate the rate of clocks in this gravitational influence, you realize that that is the main effect which causes a stretching of the rates of clocks, time dilation, and not what Einstein said. Such studies are expected to bring light, for instance, on the enigma of dark matter, a largely unknown, invisible mass believed to constitute the major part of the universe. The levels of timing accuracy reached today may also lead our society to new ways of handling information on a global scale with unforeseeable implications. Today we use uh, clocks to measure time and we use a computer to process information. But in the future, uh, you will maybe not be able to make the difference between a clock and a computer. You will have one single entity to do both things and it will not obey classical physics and 
putting this entity, which is a clock and a computer on board, every satellite making the constellation will maybe give an informatic capability to the constellation. So what will mankind do with such a global computer? Questions indeed for the future. Back in antiquity, St. Augustine was already in a quandary. What then is time, he wrote in his confessions. If no one asks, then I know. If someone asks me to explain, then I do not.